Welcome to your Marx Max Muscles Amateur Grand Prix. This is one of the two semi-final matches. We're down to the final four bodybuilders. This, of course, is a tournament featuring bodybuilders that never once stepped on the Mr. Olympia stage. And it's hard to believe when you look at these two physiques here. Jeff King versus Paul Baker. Now, Jeff King may be outsized here by quite some margin. This is earlier on in Jeff's career as well. Hard to find a lot of pictures of him. In an aesthetic matchup, there's no no question I would give this one to Jeff King. But this is a straight-up match. And I have to say, those muscles of Paul Baker are just probably a little bit too bountiful, if you know what I mean. Look at the size of those muscles. Of course, those muscles and Jeff King's legs are far better than that of Paul Baker. But this is the front double bicep. I'm going to go ahead and give Baker one point. Now, here in the front lat spread, again, Baker does have the advantage in the muscle department. Look at the size of those lats. And this is a front lat spread after all. But Jeff King, he's a little bit more in his prime here. Look at that front lat spread. It's so aesthetic, and mechanically, it's doing battle as well. Clavicle a little bit too thin. Again, look at the lag department. In particular, those little whiffles of calves that Paul Baker has. He was somewhat hiding them in the front double by. Here, they're very exposed. And now that I see them, I find it hard to give him a point. And plus, look at his breasts, his teats. They kind of point down, very unesthetic. I'm going to go ahead and on a limb here and give this one to Jeff King. The side chest, this is quite a good little battle. Now, of course, King is smaller. He's always going to be smaller. But look at that definition. Those pecs, they look as hard as granite striations till Tuesday. Not only that, but the camera footage is not nearly half as clear. I'm sure if it was the same footage, you would see vascularity up to the yin-yang or whatever. And this is my final decision on this. I'm giving that I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Jeff King because you cannot see Paul Baker's legs. And as we know, those calves are treacherous. And I'm doing the Flex Lewis series. I've just had the, the series finale. And he had awesome calves. So I'm really focusing in on calves lately. And we all know Jeff King. Look at those big, fantastic cows, as the Iron Grind calls them. Little shout out for the grind there. Either way, you may call politics on this one because I do like Jeff King. But nothing doing. I prefer him. Aesthetically and mechanically, he's right there with Baker. Here in the side tricep C's, baby please, as Louis Marco would say, there's another bodybuilding YouTube channel. The YouTube's full of us clowns. Anyway, I believe Jeff King is way, way better. Keep in mind, as I mentioned in the last pose, the clarity of these photos is not nearly as good in the 80s for Jeff King, or perhaps early 90s. And still, you can see feathering in his tricep. A way better tricep, if you ask me. Not only that, but the pecs. Just a far better pack each. So, it looks like Paul Baker is in trouble, but we have to look at the back developments. And I think, perhaps, Jeff King is just outgunned here. Literally. Yes, genetically, he is better, in my opinion. Look at those lower lat insertions. Look how thick they are. Actually, doesn't that remind you of a, a rear double by that you see? Oh, yes. Take a look at this. Boom. That You remember who this is? That's Bill Pearl. Don't they look genetically similar, these two, in the lower lat thickness area? Anyway, wasting your time, let's get back to the matchup. And, like I was saying, I just think King is outgunned. Look at the hamstrings in the glute department. 
on Big Paul Baker. And look at those arms, delts, biceps, triceps. Just a little too much for one Jeff King to handle. I mean, if you could see a little bit better of those calves of Jeff King, then we could maybe make an excuse here, but nothing doing. And here's where it gets controversial. There is this rear lat spread of Paul Baker, and it is good aside from those calves. Treachery, treachery. But, of course, not as treacherous as showing up on game day without a rear lat spread like Jeff King. So the point goes to Paul Baker, and we have an interesting situation now heading into this, the final pose, the most muscular. The score is all tied up. So it all rests on this one pose. And I'll be honest with you guys. I like Jeff King. I like Jeff King a lot. Paul Baker, eh, I could take him or leave him. Not the greatest bodybuilder in the world, in my opinion. Now this Jeff King is just a dream wrapped in a blanket, an aesthetic creature. But here's the thing. This is not a movie, a Disney movie. This is not Walter Disney. This is not a, a show, a television show, where the good guy always wins and everything happens hunky-dory, like on Bonanza or Baywatch. This is real life, and I have to judge accordingly. And if this is anything but the most muscular... Then I would give it to Jeff King because of those legs. Look at that. Even the calves. Look at that. And I have to be true to myself here. Look at that upper body of Paul Baker. There's no doubt. Look at the look at the delts. Look at the arms. This is this is a sad day at Mark's Max Muscle. Oh, who who cares? Let's just give this one to King. Huh? He has the legs. He has the calves. Yeah, we can make an excuse. It is Walt Disney here. Look at the calves. He's being deducted. Yes, see, there's always an excuse here. And I'm not joking. Ladies and gentlemen, with little wiffle boards like that, it just ruins the symmetry and everything. <laughs> yeah, right. It's all politics, Jeff King. He's my golden boy. And because of that, he advances on to the final matchup. And just for the record... Politics in bodybuilding is no laughing matter. And one other thing that I am deadly serious about is the calves. I mean, you have to bring something to the table, and Paul Baker brought nothing. Perhaps he had something go wrong. He maybe tore a muscle in one of his calves. No sense of building one if you can't build the other. And I'm definitely not trying to make an excuse for Paul Baker. I'm just letting you guys know just exactly why he didn't advance over Jeff King. And that is perhaps the only reason, because I'm telling you, his structure, other than those calves, is pretty hard to beat on the bodybuilding stage. Ladies and gentlemen, look forward to the next matchup, the semi-final matchup. And we will find an opponent for Jeff King. Marco Savalianin takes on Victor Richards in the Clash of the Titans. Bum, bum, bum. What an outstanding matchup that is, and definitely one that I personally look forward to. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not already, please, please find it in your hearts to give that little subscribe button a little flick. Give it a little push and bump up my subscriber number, please. I'm hunting for a thousand and then beyond. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.